this is a video update on my Falcona Predator figures. Um, as you probably know that uh, I mentioned in my video review of this guy is that he had way too many faults and I while playing with him I discovered one more uh, yeah actually I was uh, turning turning his swivel ways I noticed that uh, the uh, the legs swivel and uh, and the upper torso also swivel and while I was turning the upper torso of this guy I noticed that his upper torso is removable and then there it go <laughs> the head fell off and this underwear piece is also removable and if you look under it you will know that this rectangular block that fit into this slot and as you know this is the front right and the this quad piece is on backward. I mean, this is the front, and this is the back. It is either this quad piece is on backward, or the upper thigh pieces are on the wrong side. So that is just bad. I mean, uh, I think this is just a little bit of error during the uh, figure assembly uh, process. Uh, but it is understandable, you know, you make mistakes like this when you're working. But I, I don't know, somehow being a neck, uh, a NECA's fan and getting a figure with this many faults, I mean, I mean, it, it really upsets me. I don't know why, but yeah. But I guess it is understandable. And uh, Falcona Predator. Or this figure, it, I think this figure is probably being the least popular Predators figures out there. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, just just let me know what you think, or maybe if you experience the same thing that I, I am with this figure. Just let me know in the comment section. Uh, I, I know some uh, someone already told me that they had a dance on the mask of the Falcona Predator. I don't know if I will ever be able to see another one. But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment section that you experienced the same thing or maybe had too many falls with this figure. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.